Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to talk to you guys about something for just a few minutes because people haven't seen a lot of my older material and I probably have gained another 15,000 subscribers since I've even discussed this. And that's the idea that people think that they're going to get dramatically stronger without getting bigger. And there's even this misconception that outside of the pro IFBB bodybuilder ranks that bodybuilders carry more total muscle mass than powerlifters, strongmen, and other strength athletes, which simply isn't true. Now, the IFBB guys, they do, but there's a whole other reason for that that I can't cover that in the scope of this video. But the reality is you cannot get dramatically stronger without getting bigger. What you're going to find, there are multiple different adaptations in the body that will allow strength increases without hypertrophy. That is true but they're very limited and short-lived adaptations. So what you're going to find is that your strength is going to very, very quickly stall at different phases in your training, and you're not going to be able to get any stronger at all without hypertrophy. And you're going to find through entire phases of your training and even months and months of your training every year as a strength athlete that 100% of your strength gains through those phases will only come from direct muscle growth because you will have exhausted those other factors for your current size as far as neural efficiency and certain structural changes of angles and things that can happen inside muscle fibers to help them produce more force these adaptations are very limited in scope and you're going to find that all strength training can induce large amounts of hypertrophy and I am one of those people that don't believe that hypertrophy style training is necessarily always better or always dramatically better in the amount of muscle growth it stimulates. I think in some cases it can be. And I think one of the things that makes this confusing is that strength training doesn't always build a balanced physique. And someone who has already has good genetics for proportions and things, they're simply going to look bigger and more muscular if they are perfectly balanced and have every single muscle in a close proportion to others than someone else who's carrying just as much muscle but they're not as well proportioned and it's largely due to proportions and insertions and genetics you got to work with what you got but the reality is all strength training induces hypertrophy and you simply cannot get dramatically stronger without getting bigger and you will find that most serious powerlifters periodize their training to break through strength plateaus by gaining large amounts of muscle mass to help them do so. It's just required. You're never going to see a guy who is tiny who benches 500 pounds. There's that very, very, very rare genetic freak who has exceptional neuromuscular efficiency naturally who can do it. But these people are so insanely rare that you are probably not going to be one of them. So there you have it, guys. That's my take on it. You really can't get much stronger without getting bigger and the overlap between strength training and hypertrophy training is actually very very huge that there are only degrees of differences on the outer edges between the two most of it overlaps all right guys so that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it has been informative and i will talk to you next time but let me give you guys a bicep shot first